Welcome to Political Fix. I'm Christopher Ave, the political and national editor, and I'm joined today with reporter Jacob Barker. And right now we're going to talk about the St. Louis County executive race, the primary on Tuesday in the Democratic Party. The winner effectively becomes the county executive, and this was a race between a one-term incumbent and a challenger who was making his first run for office. Jacob, tell us more about this race. Um, well, it, it turned out uh, pretty close. Um, uh, incumbent uh, executive, first term incumbent executive Steve Stenger won by about 1,100 votes, um, according to the, the tallies that were released last night. Um, so he's held on to his job as challenger. Uh, Mark Montavani, a retired businessman, um, raised a, a fair amount of money. Uh, he, was, he was outgunned by Stenger, who raised uh, about $4.1 I think. Montavani raised about Two and a half million, a lot of it self-funded. Um, he's a retired wealthy businessman. Um, but it turned out a lot closer than a lot of people thought. A lot of people thought that, that Stenger, who had been endorsed by all the unions, um, would benefit from that because so much labor support turned out for to oppose uh, the right to work Proposition A measure, which went down in, uh, you know, a big defeat. Yeah, exactly. I was going to ask you more about that. This seemed like a gift to Stinger when the Republican legislature moved the Proposition A vote, the right to work vote, from the November ballot to the August ballot. That had to have left Stinger happy because Stinger was endorsed by the major labor unions. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, a, a lot of, uh, as we said, a lot of uh, observers you know, figured it would it would play into Stinger's favor. I mean, not only the labor unions. Um, but also law enforcement, which are in unions themselves, so a lot of law enforcement turned out to support that. And Stenger also had support from law enforcement because of his support for uh, Proposition P, which was a, a sales tax that passed and gave uh, county cops a, a, a pretty substantial raise quickly. Hmm. Now, looking ahead, uh, Stenger has not did not have a lot of allies on the county council. They've been at odds. In fact, some people describe the county government now as dysfunctional. Um, the one ally of Stinger that was running for uh, re-election to the council lost. So where does that put Stinger now in regards to the council moving forward? Well, yeah, his, his, his main ally on the council, Pat Dolan, who was a, a union official or is a union official, and he represented uh, the inner ring suburbs of like Clayton and Webster and Maplewood. Um, he lost to Lisa Clancy, a, a first time challenger. She's a young progressive, uh, 33 years old, works at UMSL. Um, and she was uh, critical of, of county government on the campaign, talked about cronyism and corruption. So it's, it's fair to assume that um, she's going to join the, the opposition on the council, which is a, a bipartisan opposition. I mean, practically, it, it didn't really matter because there was already six members on the council who were uh, opposed to Stenger on a lot of measures, and, and they were able to override his vetoes on measures. Um, now it's a 7-0. Yeah, interesting. Stinger's got some work cut out for him as he returns to office as County Executive of St. Louis County. Jacob Barker, thank you very much. I'm Christopher Ave. This has been Political Fix. Tune in next time for more political talk. Thanks for watching.